it's still technically fall, so I'm going to be wearing this avatar. I know I've changed avatars like 17 times in the last two videos. Or, it was two? I think it was two. The first day of winter, I think, is December 21st. Let me check. Yes, it is December 21st, for the Northern Hemisphere anyway. Today, we're going to be building Steeple of Christmas Climbing, which is going to be the second steeple of my Christmas event this year. In the previous video, we built Steeple of Ice Caverns, and so you got the key card to, which is right here. So that's going to allow you into here the glacier laboratories thing which stole all the wrapping paper so i'm actually going to change this because i'm going to be the only one building this tower so steeple of christmas climbing i guess let's just start now the idea for this steeple is that you're going to go up this cliff in order to reach the laboratory now that you have the key card to actually get in so you start right here i kind of want there to be a kilberg floor because why not and also over the past few days i've been planning out like basically all eight rings or the six that remain for the main SMTOH story. So I'm excited to be building those. And we'll start ring three soon. So yeah. I didn't really point it out, but you could see earlier the difficulty is hard. High hard. So almost difficult. Of course, I may decide to change that by the time this video is over. Like after you know, after I built the steeple. So we're gonna start with a thingy, which you'll go through to get to a jump pad that's gonna be right here. And you'll go on top of this. It took longer to build this than it should have, but that's how this is gonna start. For here we'll do some conveyor jump thingies. They'll be easy though. I'm just gonna put like transparentness between them. Transparency 0.6 and can collect false. There. Doesn't that look so much gooder? We'll do this now and we'll put a ladder over here. I do kind of want to use the green floor a little bit more because there's like basically nothing there. Okay I added a couple more jumps to get on top of here and uh, we're on to the first outside section. Basically the way the steeple is gonna work is there's gonna be sections of two floors as you can see and in between each of them will be an outside section. So we're on to the first one, and I'll go ahead and move this music part. So the first jump is to right there, but let's make that a little bit easier. Since this isn't really any floor specifically, we're just gonna make like these outside sections be this wood color that I'm using throughout the whole sub realm, I guess, is what events technically are. So we'll have this outside section lead up to this platform, and then we'll do a cool push box thingy. So we're gonna put a three by three push box here. It's gonna go along the conveyor and like press buttons to like alternate platforms, so you kind of have to like do the parkour as it changes. That probably made no sense, but you'll see. So these three, I guess four, cause this is two, but like whatever. These tan ones are gonna be changed by the buttons. This, These are like separate. It's just so that after you get off of this one, you'll go on here and then go into the next floor. So I want to select these and change their button activation types or moving activation type to button activated. I want this to be activate parts and so we want it to just activate all of these push block activated and we'll make the color be yellow now if this is working how i expect it to when that goes over there it should move everything yeah however i meant for that to be can't collide false okay i don't want it to reset so we're gonna set reverse off we want to see where this is when it reaches this point so like about here should be good to place another one Okay, good. The last thing we need to do, we're gonna put the last button is like on this part. Uh, I guess it's done now, this section. So, we'll just test it. Okay, so this does actually stop here, so that's good. I was thinking it would go back, but I guess it doesn't really matter. You can jump across these if you want to go faster, or just wait. Then you'll be in the next section. We're gonna have to make this be like a double button where it's multiple buttons. But we want it to reset moving parts, so this button will not only reset the push block, but also set all these back to their default position. I made the bottom of these moving parts be neon, so I'm gonna do that here as well. There, doesn't that look so good? So then you'll go in here, and I'm gonna make this conveyor be like, invisible. The reason I just left it like that was because I would probably forget that that was a conveyor there. Basically, it's so that it'll just push you back down to the bottom of here, if you land on the frame, or this part of the frame, I guess. In here, we're gonna have like a truss thingy on this first floor. So we're gonna do a math with railroad moment. So I'm gonna take a wedge. We're gonna leave like three studs here and I wanna know how much I need to do this to get it to be a 90 degree angle. Like this to be a 90 degree angle. Actually, uh, okay. I somehow managed to do that immediately. Oh wait, nope, it turns out it's not 90 degrees. Well, let's figure out how to make it 90 degrees. So to figure out how to make this be straight up, and not angled at all. We need to know that it's t this whole thing is tilted 30 degrees, and then we need to know the size of this wedge. This 30 doesn't matter, that's just this direction, which we don't care about. This, 
Uh, that's supposed to be five. That we're keeping, and we want to know what to make. If I could click the right button. We want to know what to make this. So, so we're going to draw our right triangle like this. This is the 90 degree angle. And so this one is 60 degrees. That's this angle here. That's 60 degrees. And this is five, and we're solving for this. So we're going to do tangent of 60 equals opposite over adjacent. X over five. Five times tan tangent of 60. 8.6 approximately. Which, I mean, that explains why it is basically working at 8.5. But now we have the math to know that that is indeed what we need it to be. So 8.6. Actually, we should round it to the hundredths. 8.66, because that's how precisely you can scale things here. So we're going to do 8.66 like this. And then to make it be exactly that, we can do that. There we go. We're actually going to move this 0 0.01 studs more to make it 8.67. The reason for that is because it was like 8.660 and then a bunch of other numbers. So it was greater than 8.66, which would technically mean this is, before I did that, this was angled a little bit like this. It probably wouldn't affect anything, but now it will be angled a little bit more, kind of like this, so, which you won't be able to walk up. Okay, so we want to take a part and just put wraparounds here. That's what all this was for. <laughs> I actually didn't think you would ever be using trigonometry while playing Obby Creator. Wait, these aren't even really wraparounds, because you, you can just walk around them, can't you? But they're not walkarounds. I'm going to use some custom parts, because I don't really use those that much. So we're going to do that now. You'll jump here. And we'll have this right here. Okay, perfect. Except actually not, because you can do this from the start and skip all that. There we go. So you shouldn't be able to do that now. But it shouldn't insta-kill. Okay, so now I'm going to make the arrows transparency 1 and disable them. So if you try to do that, that's going to happen. We're going to have a button here, which is going to activate something. I think I'll make it so you have to like find the button. It's not going to say where it is. Hey look, we have another math problem we're going to have to solve. Because I'm going to want this to be 90 degrees like this so it's like flat. Actually, no, we don't really need to do that. We can kind of just do like approximations. It doesn't need to be precisely on here because it can kind of go into this part a little bit and no one will really notice. Find a green button to activate this truss. It may or may not be on one of the supports holding the section of the steeple in place. Wink, wink. If you jump here though, then you're kind of going to get stuck and you won't be able to jump back. Problem solved. If you do that, then you can just do that there. But in reality, it's right here, so it's not actually, you don't actually need to go around to any of those. This button has infinite time. It'll activate this. We want to make this be 0.6 transparency. Can I collide false. And while we're at it, I'll also add the neon effect inside here. But you won't be able to see it until you actually activate the button. So I've done this before, but here's how I do that. We just make it so it's transparency 1 instead of 0.6 before you press the button. That's all. There we go. But I think this would look better if we make it a brighter shade of green. As soon as you jump to the platform below, an avalanche will begin, and you must avoid being knocked off the platform for 15 seconds. After that, a platform will appear, and you can progress. So here's how I think I'm going to do that. We're going to take a part and put it up here. Make it, well, not invisible yet. I do want to be able to see it while I build it. And give them the properties of that. Well, not can collide false. Now I have to try and select it. So we're going to put a few of these. So for now, the button will go here. Um... I'll make it so it's like right here though, so that you jump off and press it. So I want it to be a make objects invisible button for 15 seconds that will deactivate this and this. Now before we press it, I want them to appear right here again once they land on this platform. So there isn't exactly like a guarantee it'll roll off. So actually we're going to make the snow be the reset part because that'll save one part. We want it to be reset push parts true. Now let's test this. Okay, nice. Now in theory these should be able to knock you off. Yeah. To prevent these from rolling off when you're not doing that, we'll do that. This will also deactivate those. And now we'll reposition this a little bit beneath here, but not to where you can jump to it from here. So a little bit higher should be fine. And actually, you know what? I'm going to undo this. So we're going to make this have the default properties again, even though it's going to be invisible, but it's still very important that it has like the same color. We need to make the surface area of this be larger so that these will be guaranteed to hit it. Let's try this again. So you have to avoid this. So it's not really that hard to avoid them. I think you could probably just like stand right there and you'd be fine. Okay. They're going to like fling out once the thing appears. Because if it falls continuously, then it will gain so much speed that it's going to fling off as soon as this appears. Solution. Do that. Make it be completely enclosed. What's the highest you can set this? 200? Okay, yeah, I like that. 
So that'll pretty much get you the rest of the way up until you get to this rope. So then you'll just walk across here where it says Christmas 2022. There isn't going to be any parkour there. Now we're on to the final inside section. There's going to be another outside section after this. In this section, you're going to go to get a gray button to deactivate these conveyors to get these push boxes down to put them on pressure plates to open this door. The gray button will go here. Make objects invisible for an infinite time to deactivate these four objects. And now I need to change the spin times of a bunch of these to add some variation. Well, a lot of different properties actually. And flip some of them upside down so they spin the opposite direction. So we'll select these. We need to make them be push block activated and not player activated. They should make objects invisible. So you can technically put the red one on the blue one and the blue one on the red one. It won't, it'll still work, but, but it still looks better like this. So the red one will deactivate those and the blue one will deactivate those. I have the jump pad though. So then you'll be able to do that to get to the last outside section. Let's make the last part of this be a slow walk section. So for speed slow downer thingies, I like to have them be the default appearance and to speed up it's yellow and neon. So you will have to jump on that and so you'll get the slowed down effect. There, that will be the end. You know what, I do want to change this to be 3x3. Three three. So it kind of just matches all these other things. So here's the idea if you want to come play this. This is also a reminder to editor me to go put that at the start of the video. Go do that now. Because I will 100% forget if I don't do that. Right now. Okay, so it starts like this. Um, this is kind of Clyde Falls, so you can't just jump straight up there. You need to jump kind of to the side here, because this is there. You can go up these fading platforms, and then we have this thing. So you do that moving part section, and then you're into the next section. So you go along these trusses, and then on these kill bricks, wrap arounds. This is like so boring commentary, isn't it? Find a green button to activate this truss. It may or may not be on one of the supports holding this section of the steeple in place, wink wink. So like I said, it's over here, you need to press it. It should activate that trust. So here you need to go on these spinning platforms, and I made it like not one stud in one dimension, if that makes sense. So it's easier to just like walk over kind of like that. So these are moving fade platforms. I want to make them universal. And then you have this trust walk. It's pretty easy. Warning, as soon as you jump onto the platform below, an avalanche will begin, and you must avoid being knocked off the platform for 15 seconds. After that, a platform will appear, and you can progress. I'll change this to say, after that, another platform will appear. Okay, yeah, honestly, this is just what you should do. So then you can walk up here, go on this jump pad to go up here, jump on some more platforms, go onto this truss, walk across here where it says Christmas 2022. Okay, now here, you jump here, and then here, and then here, 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 then you do that. And you do that, and then you're on to the final section, which is just a slow walk section as you jump across these 3x3x3 three by three by three cubes. And then that's the end. I'm gonna put some signs here that say like, I don't know, now you've made it to the top, it's time to do the last tower or something. It won't be that boring though. Thanks so much for watching today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing down below so that you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you in the next one, and have a great day.